This is the new Santa Cruz 5010. It's longer and slacker than the previous generation, but perhaps surprisingly for 2020, it hasn't given up on 27.5 inch wheels. Santa Cruz have methodically been working their way through their lineup, giving nearly all of their full suspension bikes a complete makeover. After two years since its last spruce up, it's now time for the 5010 to have a refresh. While it's still built around the smaller 650B wheels, or as Santa Cruz put it, the fun size wheel size, the geometry and frame layouts are totally different to the 5010 launched back in 2018. Like pretty much every other full suspension in Santa Cruz's lineup, the 5010 now adopts their latest low slung VPP or virtual pivot point design. This involves the lower of the two counter rotating links driving the rear shock. To keep weight nice and low in the frame, the shock pierces the seat tube and mounts neatly to a kinked down tube. Due to the shock's position, Santa Cruz bolted a small mud guard in place to help protect it from debris and mud flying off the rear wheel. In terms of travel, there's still 130mm on tap at the rear, though the new bike is designed around a longer 140mm travel fork. Santa Cruz has also tweaked the 5010's leverage to make it more progressive through its stroke. They've also done away with the regressive hump through the first 50mm of travel that the old 5010 had, ironing the leverage curve out. Santa Cruz claims these changes enable the 5010 to work with a coil or an air shock, as well as delivering a more predictable feel and should make setup that little bit easier. Santa Cruz are offering the 5010 in five sizes, extra small to extra large, with reach figures varying from 400mm to 500mm in the high setting. Despite the brand wanting to create an agile and playful bike, they've still stretched the latest edition out compared to its predecessor. This varies from frame size to frame size, but to give you an idea, there's a 15mm difference when comparing the old size large with the new one, going from 460mm to 475mm on the latest version in terms of reach. What's really exciting about the new 5010 is that as the frame size grows, as does the effective chainstay length. It's something we've seen before from smaller brands like Norco, but it's rarely seen from the likes of a brand as big as Santa Cruz. From extra small to the largest frame, there is about a 9cm difference in length. Santa Cruz say they've done this to give riders the optimal balance between the wheels and means the bike rides with ease and comfort. It's no surprise, but very welcome, to see the new 5010 has a slightly slacker head angle and a steeper seat angle than the previous version. Thanks to a flip chip on the rearmost shock mount, you can adjust the head angle by 0.3 degrees, the seat angle by 0.4 degrees, and the bottom bracket height by 4mm, creating a bike that is ready to ride across a variation of trails. Before you get too excited, just be mindful that there's currently no alloy options available. As it stands, the 5010 is available in the brand's C Carbon or their more expensive CC Carbon. In essence, the frames are more or less the same, but the CC option offers the same strength and stiffness at a slightly lower weight. Both options include internally rooted cables and brake hoses, a threaded bottom bracket, hooray, and Interestingly, SRAM's new universal derailleur hanger. Santa Cruz says it is both solid and simple, works with all brands of drivetrains and will rotate backwards if your derailleur takes a hit, and could therefore save it. Bike Radar's technical editor-in-chief, Rob Weaver, got a chance to ride the bike ahead of the launch in some surprisingly dry conditions here in the UK. And these are his initial ride impressions. The new 5010 feels efficient and really comfy on the climbs, thanks to the stable platform the VPP suspension manages to create. Winching up rougher climbs however, some pedal kickback occurred when the rear wheel moved up and over particularly square edged hits, but it never disrupted pedalling rhythm or caused my feet to move on my flat pedals. 
There's no doubt that Santa Cruz have managed to fulfil their brief though, and when pointed downhill, the 5010 is seriously fun to ride. The frame feels taut and responds rapidly to rider inputs with lightning quick reactions. It's eager and easy to throw the new 5010 from turn to turn or just lift the front wheel up into the air and manual through a section. The shape and feel of the bike combined with the progressive nature of the rear travel makes it easy to forget the bike has just 130mm of travel. Getting carried away on the 5010 can happen in the blink of an eye. Pummel through something really rough though and you'll soon remember as the rear suspension is smooth enough to iron out the small hits but will skip over rather than soak up successive impacts, which is no bad thing. I really appreciated the level of progression when landing hefty drops to flat. When setting up air shocks, Santa Cruz provides a solid set of base settings to work from. The pressures in both the shock and fork were close to what I wanted, but I did add a touch more rebound damping to both units. Don't forget, these are Rob's initial impressions only, but if you want to know more about the 5010, we'll have a full review coming soon, so stay tuned to bikeradar.com. In terms of what builds are on offer, the 5010 comes in six different build options. Four made from the C-Carbon and two made from the higher spec CC carbon. All models will use a 140mm fork, though it'll be a Fox 34 on the slightly cheaper R and S models. And it'll have a RockShox Pike on bikes with the Shimano XT or SRAM X01 build kits. Tires are the ever popular Maxxis Minion DHR2 in 2.4 inch widths. They get the Evo casing and the compounds will be max grip up front and max tear at the rear across every model, which is great to see. There are two builds, the CXT RSV and CC X01 RSV, where Santa Cruz's carbon reserve wheels are available. These are the second generation of the rims and come with a 30mm internal width. They include subtle updates to the carbon layer and rim profile, which the brand claims makes them even stronger. Every model and size includes a 40mm stem, and some models get a stem courtesy of UK brand and syndicate sponsor Bergtech. Prices start from £4,099 or $4,099 for the CR model, rising up to the top spec CC X01 RSV version, which will set you back £7,599 or $8,099. What do you think about the new Santa Cruz 5010? Are you still rocking the 650B or 27.5 inch wheel size? Or do you think it's about time the 5010 went 29er? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the little bell icon so that every time we upload a new video, you get a notification.